Hey everybody, welcome back for the final episode of Let's Play Hyperlight Drifter. Hope you've enjoyed the series. Uh, in the last episode, we finish up with the southern area of the map. And in this episode, we're going to go back to the town and go down into the dark reaches of uh, the underneath area of the town. I don't know. What lies underneath the town, I guess. But yeah, this is it. This is the end of the series. I have to say, I did enjoy this game totally. Even though I've definitely complained about it a little bit, I did end up enjoying it. Gonna go ahead and fully heal real quick before we head down into the dark recesses. Now, nah, just kidding, we're gonna go get an upgrade. See if anybody has anything new to say. can't decide what I want to spend the gold that I have on. I think I end up going and getting the last health upgrade, if I'm not mistaken. And I'm so glad that I did. I am so glad that I got this upgrade, because if I hadn't... Man, the final boss of this game would have been a pain in the ass. Let's go ahead and uh, head down into the dark recesses below. They kind of double down on these uh, invisible platforms here. And it seems... I don't... You're just supposed to dot, keep going. Like, I was really expecting it to just, like... There to be, like, a something that you don't see or something and have to kind of do like an invisible path like in uh, Dark Souls and the Crystal Caverns. That's not the case, it's just a straight line. Very, very long ways down. Now here, before you enter the final area, they give you a ton of healing items and a lot of video games. The more healing items there are, the closer you are to a boss.
And here he is, the final boss of Hyperlight Drifter. I have to say, he... The way that they did the bosses in this game, and how every single one of them kind of prepared you for this final boss fight, is amazing. They did such a great job with the design of this final fight. Every single mechanic that he uses you have seen in a previous fight. I'm so mad because I get real, real close with this first attempt at beating him on my first try. But I just barely mess up. But I do have to say, I commend them on how well done this boss is. It is just a ton of fun. And if you can beat this one on your first try, you know, that that's pretty impressive. In my book, at least. And everything, as he progresses through the stages, all of his attacks get just a little bit more complicated, a little bit more difficult. And it's honestly, it's very, very well done. But, you know, I would have to say that I would have loved to see that this boss had, like, a second phase. Or like a second health bar that comes back. Like you beat him, you think you're done, and then not quite. And I guess another, you know, the really the only issue that I have with this fight has to be with the attack where a purple square kind of spawns in front of him. I died to that an infuriating amount of times because it basically hits you in a weird way because instead of every other attack up until this point has pretty much been like it hits you once and then that's it but if you get caught in the center of that it turns into um, you getting stun locked in that square so you get hit he falls down, he gets hit, and then he falls down again. They get hit, and then he falls down again. And you, that can take you from full health to nothing very quickly. And it was infuriating, and I wish that instead of having that hit the way that it does, that they had um, instead gone with uh, like an instant kill move. I'm fine with instant kill moves in games. I think that they can add a lot of... Uh, a lot of fun and a lot of variety to how the game, uh, to how you have to approach situations. But, you know, just having it just be multiple hitboxes or multiple hit frames that if you get into the center of, you cannot dash out of it. It's very frustrating. Otherwise, this is a fantastic boss. So, this did take me quite a few tries. Um, this is like attempt 10 or 12. It was very, very satisfying beating this boss. Now on to phase 2. Again, everything gets a little bit faster. He adds in an extra um, attack. Or an extra stage to each of his attacks. But I really would have liked to see... Um, I don't know, something a little bit more done with this boss. Again, a second phase I think would have been a lot of fun. For a second uh, health bar, and just completely changing how the game is played at that point, or how the uh, bosses fought at that point, I think would have been a lot of fun. And then you can easily get around that one by just baiting it to a specific part of the map and then just going to the opposite side once he spawns in. Already got him down to less than half health. And again, that dodge upgrade is just paying for itself in spades, man. I 
again, just not a very difficult boss. I say, of course, but it took me like 12 attempts, but he's not difficult because you just have to learn his pattern of attack, and once you get that down, again, not a tough boss at all. Just keep moving. Once you know what it is that you're doing, you're totally fine. down. And that is the end of Hyperlight Drifter. Again, this was a really solid game. Um, really, really nice uh, kind of palette cleanse after The Last of Us Part 2. Again, I don't hate The Last of Us Part 2, which is a very heavy game. And this was the kind of thing that I needed to play. Very, very fun. Just a great great game, especially once, like, you understand how to play the game. Really wish, uh, maybe I'll come back to this at some point and do another playthrough of it, who knows. It was a lot, a lot of, uh, a lot of fun. Anyway, um, thank you to everyone who watched the entire series. Really do appreciate it, uh, Again, if you're just joining us, feel free to subscribe. Feel free to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, any and all of those. You know, it. Uh, this is actually a really, really good game. Really enjoyed it. Uh, again, as I was, as I said earlier um, in a previous episode, this was originally a Kickstarter game. Uh, 
and it's very very good and it's actually one of the, like I don't know how many games I know a lot of games have been funded by Kickstarter but I don't know how many actually ended up getting uh, like published and finalized but you know I'm glad that this game was made this is a really fun game and if uh, you did back this game on Kickstarter thank you very much for doing that and uh, bringing this game into to uh, bring it to fruition. So yes, the next series that I will be doing on this channel will be uploaded on Friday. That is August 14th, I believe. Yep, August 14th is when we will begin the new series. Same upload schedule, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, three times a week. Probably around like 1 p.m. or so in the afternoon. And uh, I think you guys will like this. We're going to start to slowly go back uh, to the start of this channel, to the things that uh, way, way back in the day, five years ago, going back to our roots in this. And uh, I'm very excited. The next game is one of my favorite uh, games of all time. Probably top uh, top 15 or so, which I know most people are like, well, most people have a top 10, but I feel like... Uh, genre and um, specific like niche things. It's just going to be a fun game and uh, I'm really excited to play it. And uh, again, feel free to stick around to the end if you want to get a little bit of a sneak peek. Um, I did have to cut the credits a little short. Normally I like to let the credits play out all the way. But there are so many Kickstarter backers for this thing that I literally left the game just running went and did uh, a couple of things and then came back and it was like on the B's and then I did something else for like 10 minutes came back and it was on C's and this video would have been like an hour and a half long so I just ended up editing it out um, but if you did back this game if you were involved in the creation of this game again thank you all so much and uh, thank you to everybody who watched this I hope this inspired you to go out and play this game yourself it's a really great game Really, really highly recommend it, and, uh, and I will see you all on Friday for the start of the next series. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.